Hi, and welcome to SITREP, Army news that affects you. First, I will explain a change that's been made to a very important definition. The definition of sexual harassment or assault that triggers a command investigation will no longer be limited to the work environment. It will simply be the environment, meaning it could take place anywhere, anytime. This change reflects current training that advises soldiers they can be held accountable for acts of harassment or assault that occur off post or during off-duty hours. All victims have the right to be treated with fairness and respect, protected from the accused offender, notified of court proceedings, present at all public court proceedings related to the offense, and to confer with the attorney for the government in the case. So now that you know the basics, let's learn about unrestricted reporting. The victim can disclose without requesting confidentiality that he or she is the victim of a sexual assault to a sexual assault response coordinator, victim advocate, healthcare provider, or command authorities. The victim will have access to medical treatment, counseling, support, and consideration for protection and expedited transfers. If the victim chooses to file an unrestricted report, the SARC, VA, HCP, chain of command, and law enforcement will be notified that the crime occurred. An official investigation will be triggered and the alleged offender may be prosecuted. All unrestricted reports must be referred to the Criminal Investigation Command. Once the victim files an unrestricted report, they cannot change it to a restricted report. For more information, go to army.mil slash sharp. And if you have questions, let us know on Facebook and Twitter. Sergeant Santana out. In the mission, number one.